in, make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands with me. Stop your feet to the beat. Lift your hands to the sky. Stop us, Kidonio! There's a God above who loves us, Kidonio! Nothing's gonna stop us at Kidonio. We know that Jesus loves us. Hi, kiddos! Welcome to Kidonio. I'm so excited that each one of you is here with me today. During our time together, we'll sing a song, hear a great Bible story, and at the end, we'll get to go Kidawampus. Before we get started, let's take a look at these pictures of Rocky Raccoon that some of you sent in. Wow, that is such great coloring. You're all such amazing artists. We're in a series called One Big Story. God made our whole world and he's turning it into one huge amazing story. All of us get to be a part of God's story too. Well, right now, it's time to practice our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is, I can talk to God anytime. Kiddos, God loves it when we talk to him, and we can talk to him anytime and anywhere. Now it's time to stand up so we can practice our big idea together. I'll say a part first, and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. I can talk to God any time. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. And now let's say the big idea in our robot voices. Boop, 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 boop. The big idea. I can talk to God anytime. Boop, 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 boop. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. And now let's say the big idea in our squeaky mouse voices. Squeak, squeak. The big idea. I can talk to God anytime. Squeak, 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 squeak. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. And now let's practice our big idea in our super low voices. Are you ready? The big idea. I can talk to God anytime. Great job practicing the big idea, kiddos. You can sit down. Next, we get to learn more by going on a Bible adventure. It's time for a Bible adventure. Oh, hey, oh. Oh, hey, oh. Here we go. <laughs> the Bible is the greatest book ever. It's full of words from God and full of true stories about people who loved God. Today, we get to hear a story about someone who got to actually talk with God and hear his voice. Let's listen. Hannah was sad because she had no children. She prayed, and God gave her a son, Samuel. She was very grateful, so she gave Samuel to God to serve him. Hannah left her little boy at the tabernacle with Eli, the priest. Samuel helped old blind Eli. He even slept in the tabernacle while Eli slept in a room nearby. One night, 
Samuel heard someone call his name. He got up and ran to Eli. Here I am, he said. I didn't call you, Eli grunted. Go back to bed. Samuel crept back to bed. He heard his name again. Samuel ran back to Eli. Here I am, he said. I didn't call you, Eli sighed sleepily. Go back to bed. After Samuel heard the voice a third time, Eli said it was the Lord. If he calls again, said Eli, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel did. Samuel, God said, Can you be my prophet and pass my words faithfully on to my people? I can, said Samuel. And he did, until he was an old man. Samuel learned that he could talk to God anytime and anywhere. Whenever you talk to God, he hears you. He loves you and he will always listen to you. Well, now it's time to learn a memory verse about our amazing God. Memory verse, memory verse. You can remember the memory verse. Hey, hey! Our memory verse comes from the Bible. This one is how God made everything in the world. It goes like this. Colossians 1.16 He created everything in heaven and on earth. He created everything that can be seen and everything that can't be seen. God created everything in the whole world. He made every person in the world and he loves everyone so much. God knows you and loves you, too. That's why God will always listen to you, no matter where you are or what you're doing. All right, now it's your turn to try it, so stand up and let's say our memory verse together. Open your Bibles. Colossians 1.16 He created everything in heaven and on earth. He created everything that can be seen and everything that can't be seen. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. And this time, let's say the verse in our quiet whisper voices. Are you ready? Colossians 1.16. He created everything in heaven and on earth. He created everything that can be seen and everything that can't be seen. Great job! Turn around. And this time, let's say the verse in our big, loud voices. Let me hear you. Colossians 1.16 He created everything in heaven and on earth. He created everything that can be seen and everything that can't be seen. Awesome job practicing your memory verse, kiddos. Stay standing because now we're going to sing a song all about praising God every day. From my head to my shoulders, my knees to my toes, I praise the Lord.
awesome singing. You can sit down. Well, now it's time to try out what we've been learning today about talking to God. Try it out. Try it out. You'll never know until you try it out. That's right. Kiddos, I have my great big book here with me. I wonder if there's anything inside that can help us learn more about talking to God. These are pictures of some different places. I wonder if we can talk to God in all of these places. Let's look at the first one. Kiddos, if we were in the deep, dark jungle and we talked to God, would he hear us? Yes, he would hear us. God is with us no matter where we go. If you went super far from home, or even if you move to a new place, God would still hear you when you talk to him. There are some other pictures in here too. Let's look at the next one. Kiddos, if we are flying in a plane, could we talk to God? Yes, he will hear us even if we're high in the sky. God loves you so much and always hears you because he's always with you. All right, we have one more. Kiddos, what about if we're in our beds at night? Can God hear us then? Yes, he can hear us and we can talk to him, just like Samuel did. When we feel afraid, nervous, or even happy, we can talk to God about how we're feeling. Now, let's take a look at some kids who are trying it out by talking to God. Dear God, keep me safe everywhere I go. Thank you, God, for making this world and for helping me be good at basketball. Amen. Thank you, God, for making this world and for this nice day. Dear God, make it this food. Amen. Dear God, we love you. You love everybody in the world. Love everybody at church. We love everybody. We pray the name. Amen. Thank you for making this family and for the food and for the animals. And we love for neighbors. Thank you for making them. Amen. Dear God, thank you for for my toys and books. Amen. Just pray for we have a fun day, and pray for we can um um pray for we love people and pray for we um um. And I will by my mommy and my daddy, my brother Aiden, and you, Jesus. Amen. It's so amazing that we can talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. God knows you, and he loves you so much. We're almost finished for today, but there's one more super fun thing to do called Kittawampus. So stand up. And let's go Kid Wampus together. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's go Kid Wampus. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's jump around a Kid Wampus. Singing it's time for Kid Wampus. Let's go Kid Wampus. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's jump around a Kid Wampus. Singing Kid O Wampus. Kid O Wampus. What Kid O Wampus? Let's jump around a Kid Wampus. It's time for Red Light, Green Light. When the light turns green, run in place as fast as you can. When it turns yellow, walk in place slowly. And when it turns red, stop. Ready? Here we go.
Great job! That was a super fun kiddo wampus. You can sit down because now it's time to do what we've been learning about today. We're going to talk to God. Kiddos, you can talk to God anytime and anywhere because God loves you and he will always listen to you. So right now, let's fold our hands and close our eyes so we can focus on what we're saying to God. And if you want to, you can repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Help us to remember to talk to you every day. Amen. Well, I have had so much fun with you today, kiddos. This week, I hope you remember that you can always talk to God. Right now, you can grab your grown-ups and look below this video for an activity you can do together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.